Good morning, everyone. I was just watching Nancy today this morning, and I got in the mood for some old-fashioned hot process. I haven't done it in ages. It used to be, like, my favorite way of making soap. So, I'm going to do my shampoo bar hot process, because I'm out and I need to use some, so I want to use it right away. So I've pre-measured out my butters and my oils, so I can just pour straight in and let them get melting away. It's nice to see you soaping again, Nancy. I'm just doing a small batch. You guys will see me mainly doing the small batches like this right now. I'm not going to start the heavy big logs till April. And then I'll have to start getting things ready for the shows and big, big batches of stuff. So, okay. I've got my crock pot on. And now we're just going to wait for those to melt. Okay, so my oils have melted, and now I've I pre-made my lye. A little quick tip: if you want to cool it down faster, if you actually do anywhere from a quarter to half of it of your water weight in ice cubes instead of just water, it uh, won't get quite so hot so fast. You have to stir a bit more, but it's worth it. Um, as you see in most of my recipes, um, I've got coconut milk in here. I do a frozen coconut milk water combo. And I've also added a touch of honey to this too once it cooled down and I zipped it in. So that'll be nice. So in she goes. I think, gosh, I've done so many different kinds of soap from hot process, cold process, room temperature cold process, oven process cold process, rebatching or hand milling. Um, I've done on the stove top, I did that as a kid, and over the campfire also as a kid. And um, I've made my own cream soaps, my whip soaps. Sometimes I use to mix. A lot of times I try to make. But hot process still ends up being my favorite out of everything. Um, I love the texture of it. I love the translucency of it. I just love the rustic feel of a good hot process. Um, I love the looks of this, the CP, the cold process. That's beautiful. But when it comes down to using a bar of soap, a hot process soap just can't be beat. Really can't. So, okay, it's about to get noisy. <sighs> Another beauty of hot process is that you don't have to be quite as particular about temperatures and such when you make this versus cold process. Um, as long as they're within like 20 degree range, you're fine. You really don't have to get too spastic about it as long as they're not super hot. Don't ever try to pour super hot lye and oils together because that's how you'll get a volcano. But as long as they're like warm to the touch, 
not hot to the touch. You're fine. Just pour it in. So, okay, that's going to sit for a little while and start doing its thing. I'll take some little random shots during its process. Okay, I'm going to go get my mold ready. Okay, it's been a little while. Let's take a peek. Ooh. Look at the goo. Soapy goo. Love hot process soapy goo when it starts going on translucent and bubbly. Num 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 num. Okay, so now it's at the point where it's starting to fold in on itself. Look at it go, look at it go. Boop, 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 boop. This recipe tends to kind of separate a little bit with the oils merging on top and I just kind of stick blend them back in because I have it really highly super fatted for conditioning for the hair. Remember this is a shampoo bar I'm making and it's also got the milks and the honey and stuff in it. So... Okay, checking it again. It's now doing its second fold over. It folds in on itself. So it's getting very close to being done. Not a lot to see at this point, is there? scraping along the edges, getting any little extra bits off because this is the time to do it for them to melt back in. Perfect. See how it's cutting at that point. It's pretty much become a solid mass at this point, but it's still kind of like jelly. But it's not like sticking to the sides anymore, it's pulling away. And this is the hardest part for me not to play with. I'm really supposed to be just leaving it alone. <laughs> I'm not good at leaving it alone. <laughs> so I have taken my fragrance oils and I've added my color to it to make them all mixed up nice. And this one is going to be a blend. I've used uh, French lavender essential oils at the base note and the rest of it is different apple scents. I've got some green apples, some yellow apples, some red apple. Um, so it's definitely mainly an apple scent with just a hint of that lavender essential oil at the base. So that's going to be really nice. And I'm making a mess of my mold over here because I keep setting my spatula on it. So I'm going to do it in the flower mold because I like the little like hand holders for a shampoo bar. And grip it really easy. Scrub it in. Scrub it good. Scrub it. Scrub it. Scrub it. Anyway. <laughs> I hate waiting. I have no patience. But. Okay. We'll be back in a little bit. Okay. Our soap. It is pretty much ready at this point. It's gone to that nice Vaseline -y stage. And I like to do it before it starts getting too solid. That way it's easier to uh, 
blend in my colors and fragrances. I've been sitting here cool just a little bit. I'll let it break down some. And take it out of the pot and let her cool down. The next batch I'm going to do, also a hot process, I'm going to do a doggy shampoo bar. And I have oat milk that I'm going to be straining. I don't know if you can see that. To use in place of my water and my lye. Okay, so we're going to let that cool. We'll come back and we'll add the fragrance and color and put it in the molds. Okay, so we've cooled down a bit. We're going to add our color and fragrance to it. Good. 